Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning everyone I do hope today we are fine My name is Kairunisa Tambunan I am student of English postgraduate program at Universitas Sumatera Utara, Indonesia In this video, I will explain about generative phonology They are distinctive feature, phonological processes, and phonological rules Before I'm going to start my presentation, first of all, praise and gratitude we say to the presence of MIT God because give all a chance and how to do our activities as usual. Okay, here the first material. We can see the title from the slide that's about distinctive feature. What is distinctive feature? A distinctive feature is the smallest unit of phonetics in generative phonology. For indicating opposite traits from a phonetic parameter, we use a binary system which use pluses and minuses to show whether or not the attribute is present. Here are the distinctive features based on scene. For the first binary features, major class features, manner features, place of articulation features, and body of tongue features. The sign of plus is given to the segments that have the features, otherwise minus mark is for segments which don't have the features. Okay, here the part of binary feature. By using the binary system, we only need to set up one feature, like voice as plus and voiceless as minus. This notation is perfect for any feature that shows the opposite of something else. Because the binary system is so simple, we can ask if all features, even those that don't seem to be binary at first, can be interpreted in binary. The next slide is major class feature. Major class features have three features. They are syllabic, sonoran, and consonantal. Syllabic feature distinguishes the role a segment plays in the level of the syllable. Generally, consonants are minus syllabic, while vowels are plus syllabic. This feature has advantage to characterize syllabic nasals and liquids plus syllabic from their non-syllabic counterparts. Another feature is sonoran. This feature is related to the resonant quality of a sound. For intensis, vowels are always plus sonoran, same as nasals, liquids, and semi-vowels. By contrast, the obstruents, stops, fricative, affricates, and laryngeal glides are sonoran. The next feature is plus consonantal related to a narrow constriction in the oral cavity for example stops fricative affricates nasals and liquids are plus consonantal on the other hand vowels semi-vowels and laryngeal glides are classified as minus consonantal the table presented a contrast between syllabic, sonoran, and consonantal. Okay, the next is manner features. Manner features are proposed to distinguish obstruents, stops, fricatives, and affricates, and distinguish nasals from liquids and for the latter, letters from non letters Among the obstruents are those with continuous vacation throughout plus continuum. The fricatives, and the, beg the fricatives and the beginning with total occlusion minus continuum the stops and affricates. Continuum also distinguishes minus continuum from plus continuum. Every cats and stops have different release. Every cats have a delay release, plus delay release where stops are released continuously minus delay release. The other manner features is strident, to distinguish among the continuants. Strident is related to the outgoing air hitting the teeth or the uvula. 
labiodental, alveolar, palate alveolar, and uvular are strident. Besides, bilabial, dental, palatal, and velar are non strident. The delay every cat release is always strident. Another main features are nasal and lateral. These features differentiate various of the zonoran consonant. Okay, here place of articulation features. For principal places for consonant articulation as claimed by Chomsky and Hale in Sane, 1973 are labial. Dental, palato, alveolar, and velar based on whether Based on whether the constriction is at the extreme forward region of the oral cavity, the anterior consonants are more retracted than anterior, and additionally, whether the articulator is the blade of the tongue, the coronals, or some other articulator, the non coronals. Labials and dentals are the plus anterior consonants, whereas Velars and palato alveolus are the minus interior consonants. On the other hand, labials and velars are the minus coronal consonants, while dentals and palato alveolus are the plus coronal consonants. Okay, here the body of tongue features. You can see the first figure. In the vowel classification, the parameters are high, mid, low, front, back, rounded, and unrounded. The parameters relating to backness and rounding are of course binary. Okay, for the second figure, signs, there is only two degrees plus and minus to differentiate a single feature. There must be two features conjunctly to specify or differentiate three degrees such as high, mid, and low. For that reason, Sain decided high and low as the degrees of independent features. Okay, now we come to second material, phonological process. Sain in 1973 stated that phonological process occurs when combining morphemes into words. The segments of neighboring morphemes undergo change. Changes also occur when two morphemes come together, when morphemes are combined to form words and some other change that occur can also be called phonological processes. Here it is two categories of phonological processes based on sane in 19 92, such as syllable structure processes and weakening and straightening that mix with devoising, stopping, and rounding process. Syllable structure affect distribution, consonants, or vowels in words that can be deleted or entered. There are syllable structure used by the writer which are The examples vowel deletion may prevent two vowels produced together. The example of vowel deletion can be seen in the following data, English Indonesian. In the point of view, deletion, OK in English is pronounced as OK in Indonesia. The sound U is deleted after O. The next vowel insertion. This process happens in many languages. The word cannot end in a consonant liquid cluster. In such cases, the example of vowel insertion can be seen in the following data. Here the example of English and Indonesian. English, apple. Indonesia, apple. English, model. Indonesia, model. In the case of E insertion, they can happen because the speaker accustomed to using it in everyday life. From the distinctive features above, E sound developed from zero between two consonants. Okay, the next vowel collisions. Vowel collisions cause the producing single vowel to the sum backness and rounding vowel. So the new syllabic structure becomes simple. 
The example of consonant coalescence can be seen in the following data. Here the example of English and Indonesian. In English we can pronounce voto. In Indonesian we can pronounce foto. In English we can pronounce idea. In Indonesian we can pronounce ide. In the case of o coalescence the word voto in English is pronounced foto. In Indonesian and a course between F and T sound. From the distinctive features above, O sound becomes O, which has some contrast features from O sound like hike when it occurs between two consonants. Weakening and strengthening happen when the change of simple syllabic structure lead to a complex syllable structure which are A syncope. Syncope occurs when a vowel near a stressed vowel is deleted. In the other hand, it may occur when stressed syllable is followed by two antecedent vowels. The vowel which following the stressed syllable is often followed by a single sonoran consonant. The example of syncope can be seen in the following data. Here the example of English and Indonesian. Next, devoicing. Devoicing is a process of substituting voice consonant into voiceless one. Based on Oden, 2005, words in Russian language always end with a voiceless obstruent. Stopping is a process of substituting fricatives with stop. Fronting is a process of substituting a sound produced with posterior organ of speech into a sound produced with anterior organ of speech. Okay, now we come to third material or last material about phonological rules. A phonological rule is a formal way of expressing a systematic phonological or morphophonological process or diachronic sound change in language. Phonological rules are commonly used in generative phonology as a notation to capture sound-related operations and computations the human brain performs when producing or comprehending spoken language. They may use phonetic they may use phonetic notation or distinctive features or both. John Goldsmith, in 1995, defines phonological rules as mappings between two different levels of sound representation. In general, phonological rules start with the underlying representation of a sound, the volume that is stored in the speaker's mind, and yield the vinyl surface warm or what the speaker actually pronounces. When an underlying form has multiple surface forms, this is often referred to as olopon. Okay, the next, the idea behind phonological rules. Generative phonologists who have worked extensively with phonological rules work on the basic assumption that every speaker has a mental lexicon full of abstract and tries of phonological forms in his or her head. These abstract store and tries are underlying representation and serve as input for the phonological rules. These underlying forms then undergo a derivational process which is defined by the phonological rule. The output of this process is the phonological representation. Here we can see underlying representation, then phonological rules, then phonetic representation. Underlying representation, phonological rules, phonetic representation, also phonological rules are used with lexical phonological in the sense that it is a theory in which morphological also, phonological rules are used with lexical phonology in the sense that it is a theory in which morphological and phonological rules are brought together within a single framework. Underlying representation of phonetic. According to Katamba, according to Katamba, 19. 
1989, the following phonetic, according to Katamba, in 1989, the following phonetic realization are to account for the formulation of such rules. Pit becomes pool, take becomes to, kill becomes cool, and a ten becomes acoustic. And a ten becomes acoustic. He states that the rules needed to account for the above examples are as follows. A. Voiceless stops are aspirated at the beginning of a stressed syllable. B. Consonant allibialis, rounded before rounded vowels. C. And C. Filler consonants are fronted before high front vowels. The next about assimilation. Hyman in 1952 states that assimilation refers to all adaptive modification of segment in a chain of segments by a neighboring segment. Driven in 2004 states that assimilation is a process whereby one sound causes an, eject an ejection sound to be more similar to it. From the point of distinctiveness, from the point of distinctiveness, from the point of distinctiveness, assimilation can be conditioned by preceding or following sounds. Assimilation patterns manifest three subtypes. Manifest three subtypes. For the first phonetic, revariation or contextual assimilation. The change affects the change affects a certain segment by selecting a certain variant of the segment. For example, L is the voice after F and K in flight and clean. Then, phonemic assimilation is often referred to as neutralization or syncretism. Morphological or morphophonemic assimilation is one which affects a whole morpheme. It usually decides the morpheme variant or more according to morphophonemic rule. Here we can see the example. The next, dissimulation. Dissimulation refers to the process by which one sound becomes different from a neighboring sound. For example, the word pilgrim derives ultimately ultimately A special case of dissimulation is haplology, in which the second of the two identical or similar syllabus, syllabus is dropped. Examples include the standard modern, British pronunciation of Worcester and Gloucester with two syllabus, rather than three and the common pronunciation of library as if it were written library. The next, deletion. Annihilation or deletion is the omission of one or more sounds, such as a vowel, a consonant, or a whole syllable, in a word or phrase. The word elision is frequently used in linguistic description of living language, of living languages, and, delet and deletion is often used in historical linguistics for a historical sound change. For example, most American English speakers do not pronounce the D in handbag. So, it is a process by which a sound present in the phonemic form is removed from the phonetic form in certain environments. Okay, the next, metathesis. Metathesis is an aspect of the English language. It is the, transport, it is the transposition within a word of letters sounds or syllabus asterisk becomes asterisk integral become integral okay that's all my presentation i think this is very amazing for me because i can meet you all here today thank you for your attention see you